All right, so I'm just going through my raised bed here that I put the tarp on, and I think I did this maybe two weeks ago. And so the question is, did it work? Now, of course, we all know, if you watch any videos like Curtis Stone or any of them, hell, I've done it before, we all know it works. But let's have the grand reveal this time. Two weeks in the Houston sun. Yup. <laughs> that did it. Uh, this stuff here that's trying to come up is actually some bulbs from the, the, the bulbs that I put in last fall that I healed in just to do something with them. And uh, I'm not sure why they're trying to sprout now if it's a, a, lay, a light sort of thing. I mean, this one would have got hot or not cooler. I'm not sure about that. But that's why I want to uncover it because I don't necessarily want to have those sprout and die. Of course, I'm not sure what will happen now. Uh, the fire ants don't appear to mind the heat. They seem pretty happy. But ultimately, yeah, that pretty well did it. <laughs> Killed it off real quick. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. So I still got, like I said, a little bit of stuff around the edges that I just couldn't quite get covered effectively. But that's one quick pass with a hoe, rip that out. And the rest of this should be pretty much weed free. Um, so now I'm going to try to go through here in the next couple weeks if I get time and maybe put in a fall garden. That'd be a, a nice thought anyway. Seems seems like a good idea but I just wanted to show that to you guys like I said this was um, I don't think any more than two weeks and like I said it's summertime so it cooked it good and hot but uh, it's a good practice really on any fallow bed that you have to cover it up like this when you're not using it, it keeps the weed seeds out and makes what weed seeds are in it germinate and uh, when you go to plant back in it it's ready to go